Welcome and first of all, welcome to this office, my temporary office until I get my own new office in our new house. But uh, this summer we're living in this house here, so this is kind of a temp office where I don't have that fancy lighting and uh, all these cool backgrounds that you probably be used to. Anyways, I'm going to talk about something that's called glass morphism, or at least I think it's pronounced like that. And it's a cool little UI effect that you can do to create this uh, frosted glass effect uh, with CSS. And it's only two rows of code, so it's pretty cool. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna morph some glass here, and this is how it looks like. You can see when I drag this div here, you can see this cool, nice frosted glass effect. You kind of see through this div here, and it looks pretty neat, I think. And there's only two rows of CSS code you need for this, actually. And I'm gonna show it in my little um, kind of cards uh, application here that I created with React and TypeScript. I have a video on that also in my channel, so let's get started. I'm gonna go back to my code. And inside here, I'm inside my app component. You can see that I have the different cards here and I import the video and the image for the cards here in this one. So what I'm gonna do here is that I first gonna import style components that I use in this application. But of course you don't need to use style components because this is pure CSS that we're gonna create this effect with. Import style from style components. And then I've installed a small little library that's called React Draggable. So I'm gonna import Draggable from React Draggable. And that will make sure that I can drag the div to show you the effect a little bit easier. So styled and draggable. So first here I'm gonna create with a React fragment. I'm gonna create this div above everything else here. So I have the draggable component. And then I'm gonna create a style component that's called glass div, like this. And this is a cool glass morphism uh, div. And now it will complain, of course, because I haven't created that style component yet. And of course, I need to have this as a closing tag. So let's create this style component, const, glass div equal styled dot div and I have double back ticks and then we're going to do the CSS magic but first some kind of standard CSS so I'm going to set the position to absolute so I know that I can position it above everything else and also make it draggable so I set it to top zero left zero I set the set index to 100 so I know that it will be positioned on top the width on this one is going to be 500 pixels, and I set the height to, yeah, maybe a little bit less, 300 pixels. Uh, 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 yeah, what else am I going to do here? What else? Yeah, I can set the padding to 20 pixels, and I'm going to have a border radius of 20 pixels on this one. We can try it out now. So I say this, go back to the browser. You can see that we have the div here, but the background is actually transparent now. You can hardly see this text probably, but it's there. This is a cool glass morphism div. So we're going to apply that effect now. First, I'm going to set a background. Background. I'm going to use an RGBA value of 255, 255, 255. That's white. And I'm going to set it to 0 0.5, maybe. So this is the alpha channel, the, the transparency. You can set here as the last argument to this one. So 0 0.5, that's 50%. And this is also how you can tweak the effect. Uh, and I'm going to show you that also in a second. As I'm using style component, I'm not going to apply any vendor prefixes, but you have the standard WebKit stuff. If you want to do that, there's a WebKit backdrop filter. You can see here that it shows up in the autocomplete. So we have the backdrop filter here. But in this case, I'm just going to use the backdrop filter as it is. Backdrop dash filter because style components will polyfill it automatically. So we have a backdrop filter and I set the blur to 7 pixels on this one. Don't know why it shows up in this color. 
I save it, go back. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's working. So this is it. This is everything you need for the effect. Two rows of code. And if we change the blur here to maybe two pixels, you can see that it gets more and more clear like this. So let's set it to three pixels. And then if we change the opacity here to 0 0.8, it's going to make it less transparent. So you can tweak these values to whatever you want. So this is pretty neat here. And I have a little bit more blur. Maybe try seven pixels. You can see that there's a lot of blur now. And it looks pretty awesome, I think. This is a little cool effect with this frosted glass. So um, there's nothing more to it, actually. You can play around with this and create different components and apply this background effect, and it will look like frosted glass. So that is glass morphism, and it's really popular now in the UI world, so to say. Uh, I've seen it in a lot of places, and a lot of people talk about it also. So it's pretty cool. You can create a cool glass UI with this effect. So that's it for this video. And uh, if you like it, as always, hit the subscribe button and also the notification button and support me as I will put up videos like this and a lot of other cool stuff in the future. And as always, also, see you in another one.